CSGTO has um, agreed to speak. So, John. Um, I apologise in advance if my thoughts are a little bit <clears throat> rambly. Um, I haven't sort of prepared anything, and uh, uh, there's so much that goes into this whole piece. Um, so much of it has already been touched on. Um, I sort of got involved with the housing movement last year when I was sort of getting involved with um, local politics, and I'm very pleased that I did, but at the same time, man, is it a lot of work. It's very time-consuming for everybody, and it's amazing that so many of you are here, and it feels like hard work at times, because we are fighting people who have got more money and have got more power, but they're people who are arrogant and complacent. Um, I was slightly, I, I was at a governor's meeting last week um, for the Arc Labour Academy, and um, I was pleased they had, they were talking about a proposal that had been put to them about a new building behind the school, um, which would involve new technical space. Great, uh, but it's a 15 story building, another one, plans on the New Kent Road, um, and I assume that because it, they're going to have the technical space, that means they'll probably get out of doing their affordable bits and pieces. Um, I think I was actually told that with this one it wasn't, but there is just way too many examples of buildings going up around us all the time, where in fact actually developers are getting away with not putting in anything affordable, paying a bit of money to the council. Um, that Dodgy deals, basically. It's just dodgy deals across the board, um, and it's absolutely sick-making. Um, the bit that was important for me, though, with this one, was the fact that um, the headmaster had just been told by uh, Peter John it was going through. Peter John doesn't sit on the planning committee. You know, he, he goes and he has these conversations with the developers. He basically tells people that it's happening, but he's not actually the one who makes the decision. That is the audacity of it. We've got the leader of the council who basically is single-handedly going out, making deals, and then pushing them through. The only way that slow changes have happened has been a lot of effort by a lot of people. Um, and as Jerry sort of touched on, and uh, as uh, Tanya has, you know, that's come through legal cases where people have been putting up their own money to go and fight people who've got a lot more. Um, I don't know sort of specifics, but I know that with, with for instance, um, the, the Larkin fire, there was way more paid out by the council to their own lawyers than there was as compensation to, you know, the families who, who lost people who died. So, you know, the council has deeper pockets than individuals do. They can put up a lot of these fights. So it's great that these victories are actually being made, and it's in part, you know, in large part, um, due also to the excellent representation that is coming forward on this important issue. And um, with the, uh, the Haringey, 